Good morning, Toronto. Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thank you for waking up with BT. Meredith Shaw, Sitsixero here with you. Hi. Hi. Studies show most of us are only productive for three hours of a typical eight-hour workday story of my life. Distractions, distractions, distractions. So here to help us power up our productivity is learning and wellness strategist Joanne Domenico. Joanne, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I love that. Powering up productivity. We could all use a little bit of that. Uh, but we got to be strategic when we're scheduling our tasks. That's where we're starting. So strategy. Yes, yeah. we definitely want to be strategic with our scheduling. So what you want to do is first identify your peak productivity hours and then schedule your most cognitively demanding tasks during that time. So that ensures that you're working on the harder tasks when your energy and focus are at their highest. And another great strategy for smarter scheduling is doing similar things, uh, batching them together, like checking email. So it's not always necessary to constantly check your emails throughout the day. Um, and since that's a task with a lower cognitive demand, you might want to strategically schedule it at a time where you naturally have less energy, like after lunch, for example. But I think that's super smart, because so many of us, what do we do? We wake up in the morning, we check our email. Right. We, we start doing the email thing. But actually, that's maybe when we're our sharpest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, already changing lives right here. Good point. So basically, I have a good five minutes yeah. every day when I get up. <laughs> Do something. And the rest is downhill. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've been there. Uh, okay, digital distraction. Mm. So roughly, because I didn't quite believe the number when I saw this, how many times a day does a person touch their smartphone? Yeah, it's a pervasive problem. The average person touches their smartphone approximately 2,000 617 times per day. What? All that to a happen. Day? What? Yes. So, <laughs> Sorry, I'm so, choking. <laughs> that itself is, I mean, hello, humanity. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wow. Uh oh. So that wow. results in constant interruptions, task switching, and detrimental effects to your productivity. But not to fear, I have a great strategy. I call it the rule of three. Three simple steps that can help you decrease that frequent flow of digital distractions. So number one, you want your notifications out of sight. Did? <laughs> Yep, yep, because of that. I need to do that. Because okay. according to a study from the University of California, Irvine, when you're working on something and then you're interrupted by an alert, on average, it takes you 23 minutes to refocus on what you're originally working on. 23 minutes? Yeah, so if you get uh, two emails an hour, for example, you may only get 15 minutes of that hour to do, to do your work. Wow. Yeah. So number two, you want to set your alerts to silent so they are out of sound because we've really programmed our brains to react immediately to those beeps and buzzes. We want to know who is it? What do they want? So putting your things on silent will help to minimize that. And then number three, out of reach. If you want your productivity to skyrocket, you need to put your phone in another room. Okay, it's not enough to just put it face down or in a drawer because you still know it's there. If you put it somewhere that you have to get up and walk for at least 20 seconds, that's what's going to be the, the thing that significantly decreases your temptation to pick it up every 2.3 seconds. Is this actually an intervention that's going on right now? <laughs> yeah, okay, welcome, Sid. You guys yeah, have disguised us very back. well. Joanne's yeah. very good. Yeah. <laughs> very good. The rule of three, out of sight, yes. out of sound, out of reach. Okay. Remember that. Because it's true. I mean, the times, it is very uh, sort of scary to forget your phone somewhere or leave it at home and you're, yeah. you go to work or whatever. I mean, it, it sets your day off in a strange way. But I did notice when that happened to me. Yes, yeah. I didn't have it with me, but yeah. then I got a lot more things done. Exactly. And I was a lot less stressed, right. to be honest. So uh, these are really good things to try, to try, to try, <laughs> try. to do. Uh, once we digitally dis sort of are distracted, uh, we also need to not take breaks, but really prioritize good breaks. Definitely. Like the, the distraction breaks are the bad breaks, but we want to make sure the good breaks, good breaks. we're uh, prioritizing. Yes, yeah. you do. Because when you take breaks, you leverage what's called your ultradian rhythm. So we have these peaks of productivity followed by a need to rest and reset. So when you take breaks, then what that does is it helps to maintain your energy and focus throughout the day. Uh, so there's lots of research to show that people who take more frequent breaks generally tend to be more productive than those who work hours and hours on end with no breaks in between. So it really makes a big difference. Uh, this was great. Where can people find you online? Uh, at Study with Joanne on Instagram for daily tips or check out my website, studywithjoanne.com. Please come back. Yeah, this I was will great. Thank you very Thank much. You.